Okay, most dragon metals here. I'm going to be pouring some alloy bar today. This is antinomy and lead. That's the antimony or antimony, however you want to say it. Sort of a metal and a metalloid at the same time. It's a bit like germanium or um, selenium, like the metal that I metalloid that I poured. And here we have some lead. Well, we'll be making some antiminal lead bar. Be using this new mold here as well. These bars usually come out quite nice once stamped. The lead first. I'm using butane for this. Doesn't take much to melt that at all. Lead is nice and liquid at the antimony. It's going to be quite hard to get to alloy into the lead, so it requires some stirring. Since it's not really a metal as such. Dissolving and melting into there. So I knew the organ. Check the thumbnail image, I will post the results and probably stamp the bar. That's quite nice, it's alloyed quite effectively. It's a bit sticky. <laughs> that would be the borax. Pour this into this mold. Close to enough to fill the mould. Try and melt it and swish it round. See if I can get it to come level. It's quite a small mould. And it's not very hot. Could be a lot hotter. This mold. Nope, there isn't enough. Have a look at it. There actually isn't enough of the material to pour, but as you can see, it's incredibly shiny. So I'll probably go and go and get another mold now. Take me a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. And then I'll repour the antimony into a different mold.
Sorry about the delay. Not that long. So let's repo this and terminal laid bar. Well, that looks quite shiny and usual. I was hoping to use that new mould, but there was not enough material. So it seems to be less than an ounce. Which is fair enough. But no worries. I guess this is going to be a low finger instead. bit stuck in there. Needs to be hot out. Sure, it's nice and uniform. It's extremely shiny right now. That will be the antimony component. This will all change the properties of the lead, make it more of a solder. It will also increase its shininess and it's value to some degree. Check it out. Wow, that is extremely, extremely reflective. Considering barely even focus on it it's so reflective nice and there's the crucible this has been used to pour other lead alloys as you can see so it's quite used be interesting to see how heavy that is as well as how it stamps check the thumbnail and I'll post the results there and on Twitter on my Instagram like and subscribe. I'll drop this in a minute as soon as it cools slightly. It's acquiring a nice finish. Yep, yeah, that's done. Drop it here. Pretty. Very pretty. Look at that. That's like one perfectly formed bar. Lead and tin mini. It's also known as heavy lead. Very nice profile on that. As you can see. Probably be making a couple more of these. Once I acquire some more lead materials. It's very nice. A very nice alloy bar. It'll be lead PB and antimony SB. Element symbols. So they'll be stamped onto this bar. Still quite hot. Very, very, very nice.
quite thick. Let's see if I can get an image in the sun. Oof, very, very shiny, as you can see there. Forge. Made this out of salvaged bricks. Lots of unmelted aluminium materials there. Slag pile. It's all that was required for these low temperature metals. The kind you use for powering barbecues and such for camping. Otherwise, you'd need something a bit more substantial, like one of them. Welding torch. Well, very nice results. Until next time.